I'm uh, Preston Castle, and I'm interviewing uh, Bobburn, Norton Walker, and my grandparents. Uh, where did you go to school? I went all my schooling in Nokomis. Govan. <coughs> did you go all the way through school? Yes, I got in grade 12. No, I didn't. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was your average day like as a child? Busy. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. We're busy. Played and lots of stuff, lots of chores at, on the farm, and, but lots of playing too, outside. <laughs> what did your parents do for a living? Farmed. Farmed, yep. Did they struggle to provide? No, I don't think so. Like, I mean, we weren't wealthy, but we really didn't struggle. We never noticed it anyway. They probably struggled on our behalf, but yeah. we never went short, no. Yeah. Uh, in what ways did your parents influence you? Just hard work and worry. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of work. Yeah, they, I mean, they were good people, honest people, went to church every Sunday. and. My father always told me that if you get up and do your best every day, that's all you can do. Yeah, if it don't work out, try harder the next time. Yeah. Uh, what did you do for fun on your off time? Oh, there was lots of music in our family. Um, played, played cards, played games. We played ball, played hockey. And the most fun I had is if I had a 22 in my hand. <laughs> shooting gophers, shooting blackbirds, shooting girls. Yeah. Okay. Started that when I was pretty young. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is your favorite childhood memory? Hunting. Hunting. Learning to hunt with my father. Yeah. That. Pretty good. Yeah. I would say probably our trip to Expo 67. Um, we went by pretty well every mode of transportation possible. We took the train from Nokomis to Montreal, and then we went by bus to New Brunswick, and we took the ferry across to Nova Scotia, rented a car when we were there, and then we flew home. <laughs> like, <laughs> Quite an adventure. <laughs> yeah. Um, what My dad is was born in Nova Scotia, so we had lots of relatives there. What is your earliest childhood memory? I was scared of that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to say when my little sister was born. I can remember my brother and sister holding me up to the window at the hospital so I could see my mom. And I was like three and a half, I think. I think that's the earliest thing I have. I think playing with the rope and falling into the loft, into the straw when we were kids, and the barn. That was how you played back then. Yeah. How many siblings do you have? Three. Uh, two sisters and one brother. One brother and three sisters. Anything else to add? Well, probably one of my big memories is when my uh, little sister was in an accident and was in the hospital for like three months. She was only three years old and we went to Saskatoon every Sunday to visit her and that's probably one of my main memories when I was little. I think the most exciting thing I remember when I was growing up was when my sisters got old enough to do the dishes. <laughs> because we did them until they got old enough to do the dishes. <laughs> that was a pretty exciting time. Yeah. Uh, one more. Who was your biggest influence? As a Probably my mom. I, I'd have to share that with my mother and father. Okay. All they did was work. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. They must have had fun at some time or other, but I only remember them ever doing something working. 
How long have you farmed? Well, I'm 65 years old and I've never left it. So you take your pick. <laughs> <laughs> I had my first permit book when I was 14 years old. So I've had a few years. Yeah. Thank you for coming out today and answering my questions for too bad. Thank you. Mm -hmm.